<laughs> All right, we're inside the artist studio today, and here we have the lovely April, soon to be the Mrs. Fish, and she's going to be our model for today because Brian's going to do a, a head study in Ray from Faux Effects International's new product. It's oh, a no, water base. No, it was a surprise. Ah, well, the surprise is out. Oh, well, you suck. Yeah, I suck. So we have April going through a, no, all the clothes. No, if I can't with it, like in my head study Well, oils. then you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I suck. But April will look beautiful, but she That's feels she bad, looks... That's not bad, let's try a different shirt. Yeah, April looks old and farty in that outfit. I, I, April said that shirt makes her fart a lot. Yeah, but Brian's uh, uh, significant other gave him some fancy shirts to look at, and now we have to select the clothes which you oftentimes do, you just can't go and put anything on someone. They have to look the no, timeless part. you can't just put anything on someone, <laughs> you know, like, I don't think this t-shirt would do the trick. No. No. So we've got her looking at blouses and earrings. And then we're going to shoot the photos, and um, now you're looking at a plastic bag. Yeah. So Brian's going to show us the clothes assortment that well, he feels would look best. Collar. Look at that. It. Wow. I try not to spend too much money now. I just buy the collar. <laughs> I don't get the rest. Right. Brian knows but way I'm too much paying. about girls' clothes. Yeah, I do. And collars. Well, I've been playing with girls' clothes for a long time now. Right. Sometimes the girls are in them, sometimes they're not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, April's got another shirt on. No, I don't know if you stop. All right, let's have you sit down. Oh, I just broke your ear. Oh, oh. good job, Brian. We're not going to have any posts here. But in fact, let's do this. Let's get the light right. Brian's going to set the mood right now. Wow. That's beautiful. Brian's turning out all the lights. I wonder what happens next. But somebody had to work all day. <laughs> hmm. Let's go over here and see what Brian actually sees. Oh, jeez. Now, why do you have April facing that way, Brian? What's your, what's your logic here? All right. I want to do a simple head study. I need a, le a direct light source, but I want a soft white light source. Kind of like you're sitting by a window in the day. You know, turn this off. Everybody liked that song. So it's like, um, we want a soft white light source, kind of like you're sitting by a window with indirect light coming in, not sunshine. Uh, and it's called North Lit, and it's going to be a, a cooler, whiter light. And then the back side of her face is going to go into shadow. And no. That's why I've darkened it behind us. I'll shoot some of the photos that way, and then I'm going to backlight the room with a soft yellow light and see what type of reflection. Now, are we going to put going. a spotlight on her at any point? No. No. No, a are spotlight gonna, would bleach her out. Are we going to hold up a black drape behind her at any point to no. make it darker? No. Okay. No. The darkest darks will actually be on her, in her hair, around the collar of her neck. Okay. In the darkest parts of her, and the background will be dark, but it will be slightly lighter than the darkest darks on her. The highest contrast will be on the model, just like in a Rembrandt painting with a very, very dark background, 
the darkest darks are still on the figure. The highest contrast is on the figure. Okay, great. So we'll join her as soon as we're ready to shoot. We'll uh, come back. Yes, sir. Those lights on back there. You got it. Now, poor April's been going through this for about an hour. As a matter of fact, I went to school with her mother and her aunt, and if she sits here any longer, I may be taking photos of her kids. It's time for Brian to do the review. Wow. Okay, we're back. And we're back in, we're into the second hour now. Brian wasn't satisfied, so model and photographer are trying to work out the little subtleties here. Brian's like, Brian's like that famous Colombian coffee grower, Juan Baldez. No we're Alexa Hente, he's very demanding. He's the demanding one. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Turn your shoulders away from me even more. Stop. Now, can you turn your head all the as far towards me as you can and even tilt it a little bit? Don't tilt it that much, though. You can even let the shoulder slouch a little bit. That's it. Just like that. He's very instructional. Most photographers I know say, work it, baby, hey, and really, stuff like that. Can you turn that light up behind her? Sure, I'm on it. Just dim it down a little bit more? We're right, still right. here. Yeah. Now we're working the lights. Look right here. No, don't t stop tilting your head like that. Turn your head towards me more. That's it. Now look right here. Oh, I think that's the money shot. I think he's finally got it. Well, it looks better when you look at me. Oh, we almost had it. So you turn your head a little bit more. And bring your chin down. A little bit lower. Now look at me. That was it. It was the chin move. Normally we have a wine and cheese party and celebrate at the end, but I'm exhausted. April's exhausted. See the strand on that opposite side? Just like even push it up. That's good. No, it's sticking straight out now. That's good. And push this one back a little bit. That's good. That's it. Yep, it's April's birthday again. Second time this shooting. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Hey, let the games begin and the party. Let's do it. Man, that was beautiful. It's a boring part now, but we're going to say goodbye. And hopefully in a month you'll see this exciting headshot. You tilt your head down, it's nice. And who knows, maybe Faux FX will publish this. And you'll see where it all started right here. All right. Hey, you guys, wave goodbye. It was a great photo shoot. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.